Hey guys, David with 365cloudtech.com. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about the digitizer stylus that comes with the Sony Vio Duo 11 Ultrabook. Uh, the model on this is a VGP-STD1. Um, it's got two buttons here, and then uh, at the top, this is a little screw cap. This is where the battery comes out. It takes a quad A battery, so it's a little bit smaller than a AAA. Go ahead and pop that in, screw it back in. And then at the top little screw cap here, it does have a hole, so it's got a little thing you can throw it on like a lanyard or something to hold it. Um, also got another hole on the actual cap that pops off here. Uh, it does not have a clip, so it won't like clip to a shirt or anything like that. Uh, and here is the actual tip. Um, Sony does give you a spare tip with it uh, inside the actual box when you do purchase the device. Um, I'm going to do a demonstration in uh, a couple different programs, Adobe Photoshop, uh, Microsoft Word, and ArtRage. ArtRage is a program that comes preloaded on the device. So I'm going to start with the handwriting demo inside of Microsoft Word. So down here at the bottom right you have a little keyboard. And uh, in order to change it, normally you'll have the, the big keyboard here and this will be your standard keyboard. Uh, you can change it to the handwriting mode, which is the third one over, and uh, go ahead and handwrite here, and it'll put it inside the box here. So I'm going to do the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I have terrible handwriting, so... Over the lazy dog see if it picks that up. So the only thing it got wrong was brown. You can just cross that out and you can actually rewrite what you want in there. So brown. There you go. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Oop, that's not dog. You just cross it out and rewrite what you want in there. Once again, I do have bad, bad handwriting, so <laughs> I never handwrite anymore. I just type everything. So that was just a quick uh, written demo. just want to show you that. Um, see get that out of the way and we're going to do some uh, pressure sensitivity testing uh, at the top you'll see ink tools here I, you can't really see it with the camera but it says ink tools on the ribbon up here uh, it gives you a pen highlighter eraser a uh, couple if you want like a more bigger tip or a smaller tip over here at the top and a couple different selections of colors I'm going to do the black bigger tip and I'll just show you uh, I'll show you the latency to start so I'm just going to go pretty quick here and it keeps up with it uh, it straightens it out kind of like it's trying to make a vector in uh, Adobe Illustrator um, I'll do some pressure sensitivity so I'll do light to uh, hard and uh, just kind of play around with it so you can see so I'll do some thick stuff I'll go back soft and I'll do some thick in between and back out yeah, it picks up really well. Um, I like it. So that was just a quick demo there. Uh, let's jump into the ArtRage program. So this is what comes preloaded on the actual device. I'd show you the, the colored pencil one first, but it actually doesn't pick up very well from the camera I'm using, so I'm just going to use the pen tool and, and give you a demonstration off that. So. I'll show you the latency here. Uh, it's very quick. Uh, it keeps up with it. Uh, it just has a little teeny bit of trail, but it's not bad at all. Um, and also, it does give you the erase feature by holding this uh, bigger back button. And it is pressure sensitive when you're erasing, so it'll just kind of fade it out if you don't press very hard, as you can see right there. Uh, well, actually, that wasn't a very good example for the camera. I'm trying to look at the camera too but you can see it kind of just faded out a little bit. You actually have to push hard to get rid of the full thing while you're holding that button down as well. And so that was the quick art rage demo. Uh, I'm not going to try to draw anything. I'm terrible at drawing. Uh, and uh, the one everyone has been asking about is Photoshop. So here is the Photoshop demo. This is the latest version of Photoshop, I believe. Photoshop CS6. I got the trial for it, so we're all good. Uh, just throw up a quick one. 
All right, changing it to bigger piece of paper so we can actually see what we're drawing on 75%. Go. All right. So the thing I've noticed in Photoshop, it does have latency when you're drawing. You can see it kind of just snapping the pieces together right behind it. Um, that's something I am not a big fan of. Um, I don't notice the buttons really doing anything. I mean, you can, I guess the, this one right here will actually let you choose your different brush. Um, so yeah, the latency is pretty, pretty crappy on this. Uh, I mean, it works, but it's not uh, anything like Microsoft Word or the ArtRage program that comes preloaded. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to create another new one just to get rid of the sketch real quick. And uh, I will show you the pressure. The pressure does not change um, as of the time I'm making this video. Uh, it is November 22nd, 2012. Um, it seems like uh, Sony doesn't have the API is what I, uh, Adobe is saying about the program. So when I try and I'll do light touch and I'll do heavy touch, light touch, heavy touch, and it all looks the same. Um, when I went on the Adobe boards, they're saying that it has to do with the actual stylus API and uh, that the drivers need to be updated uh, by Sony so that it is recognized by the uh, Adobe program. Uh, when I tried to get some help from Sony, uh, I just got tier one support and they just they pointed me in the completely wrong direction so I didn't really pursue it after that. Um, but hopefully we'll find some resolution on the actual issue of why we're not getting the pressure sensitivity because uh, Adobe does say that uh, they do support all types of styluses so uh, hopefully we can get to the bottom of this soon uh, but yeah that was the quick and dirty demo just so you guys can see everything uh, just write test real quick so you can just see it uh, yeah uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment uh, hopefully you got what you wanted out of this video uh, and uh, have a good one thanks for watching